Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. So yesterday you learned how to identify and create a set that has the same number of objects. Today you're going to learn how to count and compare sets of objects telling which is more. Let's get started. Look at this. We have hippos and tigers and they're all scattered around. Guess what friends? When we want to compare, it makes it very hard to compare when our objects are scattered around. So what do you think we're going to do? You're right, we're going to organize the objects, okay? And when we organize, it makes it easy for us to see the length and also to count how many we have. So let's see how it looks organized. <gasps> Look at that, they're all in a straight line. That makes it easy for us to see how many we have. So now we can count it. So count along with me, friends. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> five hippos and we're going to write the number five in the box now let's count the tigers one two three four five Six, seven, seven tigers. Very good. So we have five hippos and seven tigers. So now we're going to compare to tell which has more. Let's see which number is more. <gasps> I know that seven is more than five. We can see that there's five here and there's seven here. We can see that there's two more. So let's write that down. We're going to write seven is more than five. Good job, friends. That was so much fun. You wanna try another one? Great, me too. Let's try another one. And remember, we're learning how to count and compare sets of objects telling which is more. Let's see, what do we have? We have teddy bears and jellyfish. Okay, count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, Six, six teddy bears. And now we're going to write the number six. You're doing a great job, friends. Now let's count the jellyfish. Oh, those jellyfish are so cute. One, two, three, three jellyfish. Now we're going to see how much is more. So I'm going to let you try this one. Blank is more than blank. Did you say six is more than three? If you did, you have the correct answer. Hooray for you. Let's try another. Whoa, this is a tricky question. I see that the fish are different sizes and the ducks are different sizes, but guess what? Does that change our answer? No, 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 that doesn't change the answer. Okay, let's see if you can do this one. First, I want you to count the fish. Great job. Did you say one, 
two, two fish? If you did, you did a great job. So now we're going to write the number two. Now I would like for you to count the ducks. You're doing an excellent job. Did you say one, two, three, four, and five? Hooray for you, there are five ducks. Now what are we going to do next? We counted each object, now what do we do? Oh, you know it. We have to compare to see which is more, two or five. Very good, five is more than two. You did such a great job. I am so proud of you. Now we are going to work on our problem set. So friends, I'm going to do the first one with you and then you're going to do the rest on your own. And I know you're going to do a great job. So let's read what we have to do. It wants us to count the objects in each line write how many are in the box, and then fill in the blank below. We're going to use the words more than to compare the numbers. So first, let's count our raspberries. One, two, three. Three raspberries, and we're going to write the number three. Now, let's count our strawberries. One, two, three, four, and five. Five strawberries. Now we're going to compare. Blank is more than blank. Five is more than three. You did a great job and I know you'll do great doing the rest on your own.